I'm making spaghetti squash sabji. In order to make a spaghetti squash sabji, I washed it very nicely. How much spices goes in this spaghetti squash is depend on the size of the spaghetti squash also. Mine was pretty small. I'm making for uh, four people. So it's a small size uh, squash. So for this size squash, I will need for the bagar, which is uh, tadka, uh, half a teaspoon uh, mustard seed, quarter spoon the uh, fenugreek, teaspoon cumin, quarter teaspoon I use a um, fennel seed, which is called sauf. And we use a uh, one chili to give a flavor. Uh, one long, which is clove, to give a flavor again. And this is for the bagar or tadka. Okay. And uh, spices will go in this spaghetti squash is about. Uh, half a teaspoon turmeric and ha half a teaspoon, half a teaspoon as uh, chili powder, mirchi and, and uh, half a tablespoon is uh, dhania powder, coriander powder and uh, Half a teaspoon salt. If it's less, we can add more. Get the squash. One tablespoon about jalapeno mirchi and about half a teaspoon ginger. So I took out uh, spaghetti squash. Uh, four minutes, uh, I vac microwaved it and I took out now. And I had to cool it down in order to touch this because it's very hot. Now I'm going to peel it and I'll show you. You can use any knife you like, but uh, we, I have this knife and I like this knife a lot. And uh, it it's, uh, make my job very easy. So I'll show you. Cut this one. And I want to take out the, all the seed. Just take out the seeds. Don't take out the spaghetti. Because that is, you will need it for sabji. See, seed like this. You can even scoop, if it is soft enough, you can take out like that with spoon too. And whatever you can take out with spoon, after that you can use the knife. See, I took out with spoon. It was... If uh, sometime if one seed goes in your cooking, that's okay. It doesn't hurt anyway. You can take take it out later. See, see, I can do this too. So when you microwave um, the spaghetti squash, some parts is a soft, some part is a little harder, and har harder part you you cannot take it out from spoon.
it's the peel came out. So for this size of spaghetti uh, squash, I needed a four minute in microwave. And after that cool down, spaghetti squash is ready to make sabji. To make a spaghetti squash sabji, I need about uh, oil, about uh, two tablespoon. And I'm using a avocado oil. You can use any other oil if you like. Uh, my oil is warmed up. Now I'm going to add the ses uh, add the fennel seed, fennel green, mustard seed, cumin seed, and one cloves and uh, one red dried up mirchi. If you don't have any of those, whatever you have, you still can make a still you can make a spaghetti squash. It doesn't have to be all of them there. The only thing is just uh, if you add uh, any extra, any other seed, it means funnel seed, fenugreek seed, they give you extra flavor. I'm going to add and that. It starts crackling. And I move it from high flame to no flame for a few minutes so it doesn't, I don't want my, all the bagar seeds are burned. So now I added a lal mirchi. I'm going to add the ginger and uh, jalapeno. I'm going to add my dry masalas, which is coriander powder, chili powder, turmeric powder, and salt. Move a few times and then add the spaghetti. It's not a spaghetti, it's spaghetti squash. Uh, this sabji is a sweet and sour sabji. Medium heat, medium to low heat, and I'm going to cover it and let it cook for a while. About. Three, four minutes and then we will add sugar and lemon juice so it's about uh, six minutes and every two minutes I checked it how it's going like move them move the spaghetti squash while cooking and this is right, right now about six minutes and I'm going to check it if it's cooked or not. Hmm. Very good. If you have a lime juice, you can use lime juice. If you don't have any lemon or lime fresh, you can use uh, juice, um, lime, lime juice, uh, like already you have in the bottle. Or if you know you don't have it, you can leave it too. But it tastes a little sour, tastes good. About uh, one tablespoon sugar, because I told you that uh, this uh, sabji is sweet and sour. Let it simmer for about a few more minutes and then your spaghetti squash sabji is ready and I'm going to show you final. I'm going to garnish with the fresh dhani. Your spaghetti squash sabji is ready. 
It tastes very good with naan, very good with roti, fulka, paratha, da with dal, chawal. It tastes especially very, very good because it's sweet and sour. And if you add a papad with that, oh my God, it's so delicious. And it's very easy to make. Only the tough part is how to peel that and which way we make it easy by putting spaghetti squash into microwave for four minutes and that soften it and then I could uh, most of them I could take it out by scooping by uh, with a spoon so this is how it is and if by mistake if you get a couple of seed after you cook just take it out that's all so here is a, the spaghetti squash sabji is ready enjoy spaghetti squash sabji